What's up team, Michael here. And if you haven't heard the news yet, Greg Glassman just retired as the CEO of CrossFit. Now in this video, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a background on the events that led up to Greg Glassman retiring. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about what the future of CrossFit might look like without Greg Glassman as the CEO. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so you're probably familiar with who George Floyd is, the black guy who was killed by a rogue police officer just the other week. Anyway, Greg Glassman on June 6 replied to a tweet and his tweet had a little bit to do with George Floyd. And a lot of people, especially in the CrossFit community, viewed the tweet as a racist tweet. And in fact, his tweet caused immediate outrage in the CrossFit community. Large brands started distancing themselves and ending their contracts with CrossFit HQ. One of those companies being Reebok, who is the official sponsor of the CrossFit Games. Now, Reebok's contract was ending after the 2020 CrossFit Games. However, before Greg Glassman's tweet, they were in talks with renewing their contract. However, after Greg Glassman's tweet, they said they were not going to be moving forward as the official sponsor of the CrossFit Games. Now, that alone was a huge blow for CrossFit because not only does Reebok, not only is Reebok the official sponsor of the CrossFit Games, they also put up the large prize purses for the CrossFit Games. And since they are the official sponsor of the CrossFit Games, they are allowed to create CrossFit apparel, which equals over a million dollars a year for CrossFit. Now, after Reebok ended their CrossFit, the most likely candidate that you think would be interested in sponsoring the CrossFit Games is Rogue Fitness. In fact, Rogue Fitness is almost synonymous with CrossFit. You go into any gym and you're going to see Rogue Fitness somewhere. However, after Greg Glassman's tweet, Rogue Fitness announced that they're going to be removing CrossFit branding from their Rogue Inventational, which was started as a CrossFit sanctional event. Following suit after the Rogue Inventational cut its ties from CrossFit HQ, multiple other sanctional events said they are also going to be distancing themselves from the CrossFit brand and disassociating themselves with CrossFit. However, it don't stop there. CrossFit affiliates all over the world started announcing that they are ending their affiliate status with CrossFit HQ. But if you think that's bad enough, it doesn't stop there yet. Multiple popular CrossFit Games athletes started speaking out and said that they, they do not agree with what Greg Glassman said. And in fact, Chandler Smith, who is a CrossFit Games athlete, said because of this, he is going to stop competing as a CrossFit Games athlete until he sees what CrossFit HQ says moving forward. Okay, so Greg Glassman's tweet was on June 6th. And just yesterday on June 9th, I was scrolling Twitter and then I saw the tweet by CrossFit announcing that Greg Glassman is retiring as the CEO of CrossFit and Dave Castro is going to be taking his place as CEO. Now, what does this mean for CrossFit? Well, we actually don't know much as of now. However, we have known in the past, Greg Glassman has been known to make rash decisions for CrossFit as a company that affected the CrossFit community as a whole. Like for example, last year when the CrossFit Games was totally redoing the way they structure qualifying for the CrossFit Games. They weren't clear on how things were going to be moving forward and the whole thing just feel, felt like a mess. So with Greg Glassman stepping down as CEO of CrossFit, we might notice a little bit more communication with CrossFit with the community. However, we'll just have to wait and see. So basically that is a summary of what happened. This all happened within just like four days. That alone shows you the power of social media, whether it's good or whether it's bad. I'm not really going to give my opinions on whether I think Greg Glassman should have stepped down or should have not. This video is just meant to be an informational video if you didn't know what was going on so far. So I hope that video was helpful in getting you caught up on what is happening. Drop a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on Greg Glassman retiring as a CEO of CrossFit. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.